Look at these guys. Okay. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's Kevin. Uh, my friends call me the tortoise guy. I'm here with Suzanne, and we got three people here uh, cleaning up and doing a great job. Uh, and we're going to introduce you to them in a minute. Okay. Well, you know Manny. We'll turn that camera around. Manny. We're going to, yeah, look at, uh, we're going to talk about these guys. We'll get you in a minute, Manny. Okay. This, everybody, um, it's going to be a, a quick um, live stream today, okay, because there's a lot going on, all right? I wanted to start, first off, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, okay? Thanks for the comments, we've gotten so many great, Tracy, Tracy Wells, hi Tracy, we got uh, Punk is, you know what Punk is? Punk is in with the big guys in the in, in the big house okay so he'll yeah maybe manny maybe you can grab him and you know yeah he's in uh probation yeah and maybe you can grab him oh marie Stubbs, no way hey everybody hey thanks for being here you all okay We've gotten some amazing comments we've had a rough week everybody we lost a couple tortoises we'll talk about that but I have these guys out right now, and who are these guys? This is Compton. Well, this is this is a dumpster. Okay, you all. Uh, if you don't know the story, we have a playlist, and it's dumpster and Compton, right? Because they were found in a dumpster as little babies. Manny's looking for punk. Okay, Manny's looking for punk. And if any of you have a request, you know, like there's a certain tortoise you want to see or whatever, you know, just tell us, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We were hoping to go to the park today, this morning, and bring a bunch of the big guys, okay? But it's still too cold, okay? It's still too cold, so we didn't dare do that. So here's the good news, everybody, okay? It looks pretty good, like Dumpster and Compton could be adopted out. Uh, we can't say adopted. How about rehomed, okay? And uh, if so, they will be the first two uh, tortoises of 2023 to get uh, rehomed re re and get a great home. Get a great home. It's about an hour north of LA. Okay. So we're talking to them and they're doing great and they built a tortoise house and everything, you know. So if you're interested in rehoming and getting a tortoise from us, okay, the tortoise guy Kevin at gmail.com. Okay. This year we have over 50 tortoises. What's going on? Yeah, and we've had 13 babies. Guess what? There's a new one hatching out. How about that? Okay. And we're going to talk about because we have a contest, and we're going to um, award the winner with the best name for number 13. So did you find Punk? Yeah. Okay. He'll show up. So great news with these guys. You know, it has. it's not finalized yet, but it's looking really good. That, and they're going to stay together, which is beautiful. Okay, because, you know, they came together, they came as babies, all righty? So, okay, a couple things I want to clue you in on. Finally, got the episode out, okay, just a couple minutes before the live stream, uh, went to Maui, okay? Went to Maui a while ago, all righty, and, uh, and got to swim with sea turtles, which was a dream of mine, okay? What's that? Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Thank you, all righty? Okay. So, got to go to Maui, good news, right? Yeah, it, it's great news, right? I mean, I mean, rehoming is a big part of what we, what why I did before it was a nonprofit, and now as a nonprofit, it's essential because you know we have a small place here. So in order for us to take tortoises in and care for them, we have to rehome them, right? So the tortoise guy Kevin at gmail.com. Thank you for telling me to slow down. Okay, he's in here. Yeah, yeah. Come, come and look at this, Suzanne. Okay, come here for a sec. All right. So Dumpster and Compton are getting so big. Can come over and look over here. Look at that. Take a look. You can go over. You can go over. That, that is uh, Compton there. Okay. Compton Hi. has gotten so big. Amazing news. Right? Yes. Who, who says that? Rory says amazing news. Yay. And, and they get to stay together? Wow. Yeah, they get to stay together, right? Look at so he's wedged in. We'll follow up on that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Manny, yeah. can you lift uh, he's stuck. Lift uh, Compton up right here carefully? He's, okay. He's wedged in. See, so we have a size right there. <laughs> if a tortoise is bigger than there, okay, then they can't get up there and they can go down below. Yeah, it's just real gentle. You just yeah, gentle. Know. Okay. I know. 
So, so that's how him. fast African cicadas grow, everybody. How old is he? Just real gentle. He's uh, f uh, three and a half years old. That's all. So imagine that, everybody, three and a half years old, okay? Thank you, Manny. Okay. All okay. yeah. right. So, speaking of African cicadas, we are going to go over and see baby number 13. Okay. Ah. And uh, we had the naming contest, but also baby 13 has been having some problems this week. Okay. So, we're going to talk about that. Got to go to Dr. Shackley, uh yesterday, along with Sheldon. So, I want to, I want to, oh, look who's out. Look who's out. Baby girl. Baby girl Piper. Okay. So if you haven't yet, please check the video out. It's part one of our trip to Maui. And uh, we wanted to explore because tortoises and turtles, sea turtles, of course, turtles, are completely re related, right? So we met with a couple great women there and uh, they, we learned a lot and everything. And uh, so check out the video because we do travel on this show, right? Okay, now for some not so great news, okay? Everybody. If you watch the videos, you know that we got uh, this little Burmese beautiful baby, okay? Came about two weeks ago, all right? From, from a woman that had this guy for, for eight months, okay? And she got him through online, okay? Got, got through online with a sister and came to her very sick, okay? So we shot a video, she was really nice. She came the other day. We brought this guy to Dr. Shackley last Saturday, and she was able to actually syringe feed him, you know, and give him full fluids. And Sunday morning on the live stream, this little guy was running all around. A couple hours later, he was gone. He died, all right? And I talked to Dr. Shackley, and she said something really interesting. He had been suffering, he hadn't eaten in weeks, and she said sometimes giving him the food, giving him the fluids and all that, gave him the strength and energy to die, you know, because he hadn't eaten, you know, and his eyes were closed. So it's a sad story and, and it's also good that we, I'm really happy that we went to Dr. Shackley. She was able to feed him and terrible that we lost him, right? And um, Connie, the woman who has came and we buried him out front. And we made a video about it because she's going to tell everybody about the perils of buying tortoises and reptiles online. She has the personal experience of what happened. Okay, that's that. And Citro, so guess what? Come on over here. Going to go two things. How many minutes? Okay, we have three minutes left. Okay. Let's see the babies. Yeah, let's see the babies. Okay. Right. Thank you. Hey, we want to say hi to a couple people here. Right. All right. So, everybody, you know Manny, right? Manny's awesome. <laughs> he comes and helps all the time. Now we have Manny's sister-in-law, right? Hi. And you are. Lauren. Right? And Hector. Hector, right? Hector was here last Sunday. So, we're really lucky because now we got... You got a crew. What, what do you think? Uh, it's your first time here. I think it's amazing. It's amazing to see the whole habitat and like... It's unexpected, right? Right, right. <laughs> uh, people are surprised because we do live in the heart of LA. We don't have a lot of a lot of land here, but we managed to, you know, we managed to get the tortoises in here and, and they're in the pads, everybody. So we do a great job. So thank you. It takes okay. hands. All right, all right. Come on over here. All right. I see. Yeah, uh, you see who's coming out over there. Let's see. Then we gotta go. Okay. Right here. Coming out. One and only newbie that likes to bite everybody, okay, right? And newbie will be on the on the on the list for a, uh, for rehoming. Okay? Now he's a desert tortoise, so you, you have to uh, have a permit. Oh, uh, endangered. And, and and we can deal with all that. The tortoise guy coming at gmail right? Okay. If he wasn't a biter and so aggressive, he could hang out here, you know, right? But yeah. So okay, let's go see the babies. Alrighty, let's talk about what's going on here. Alrighty, so here they are out in the sun, right? Which is the best, the best way to do it. I, I talk a lot about putting the babies in. Oh, okay. who's behind you? you wrap it. Who's behind you? Putting the babies. What's that? Oh, look who's here. Stunty Runty. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Stunty Runty, right? African Sokata. Is uh, four years old. Should be as big as, as Digger and Poppy. 
to a huge butt, was always, always been little, and when she was very little, she couldn't eat her. She would put her head down and just miss the food, you know? And thank God I noticed when she was a little baby because I got her to the vet quite often and I would help her eat food. She wouldn't have survived. So now she's doing good. She could use a nice home too, right? She's a beautiful little girl and she won't get as big, probably, you know, as, uh, as some of the other guys already have. Alrighty? So, okay. Babies. Huh? Babies. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Everybody's pushing me along, which is good. Okay? So here is Shy Girls. Here are Shy Girls kids. Alright? So exciting news from inside. We don't have time to go in. But guess what? The second incubator with 32 eggs, the second clutch she laid, guess what? It's been 15 and a half weeks, almost 16 weeks. These guys hatched out starting at about 14 weeks. So I was like, man, maybe they're not going to hatch. Well, this morning, so that would be baby number 14, okay? So we'll stay tuned for next Sunday, okay, for that. All righty, so here's the guys. Look at how big they are getting already, everybody, okay? Remember, these are African cicadas. They eat, they're eating machines, right? And, and look at this. This is Sheldon, desert tortoise, right? And he's a year and two months old. Check this out. Okay, Sheldon's a year and two months old, and granted, he has a lot of issues, right? Okay, but check this out. The biggest guys, look at the size of them already, okay? They started like this size or a little smaller. It's only been about five weeks. And okay? this one? That is number 13. So we're gonna go, right. But look at the shell growth, everybody, okay? You see the ridges there, okay? That's how you can look and say, oh my God, they're doing good. They're growing, okay? They're getting Eating. plenty of calcium, which we supply them with, right? Okay, so let's look at number 13, everybody, okay? It's the naming contest. Manny's over there going, you gotta think, okay? <laughs> so, uh, so look at everybody, this is baby 13, okay? It was the last born oh, of the first. Hold them still, hold them still. Oh, yeah, here you go. Beautiful boy or girl, we don't know, okay? Went and saw Dr. Shackley yesterday. Uh, why? Because uh, the little guy's eyes kept closing, okay? So you wanna keep real close watch on your babies, right? And he tries to eat and he misses. Just like, just like uh, Stunty Runty there, okay? So, but here's the other thing too. Take a look at everybody. Okay, finally, the yolk sac is going away, okay? It was huge, but look what's happened. The shell, the plaster underneath, is actually growing around it, okay? So that was the other reason to bring to Dr. Shack to it, okay? Because if he, when he walks, because of that, see this down here? Because of that, see that? He's on like a, an angle, right? But the good news is, okay, the good news is, Dr. Shackley gave him fluids, okay? Too little to get syringe fed, but she says he's on track and doing well. We just have to keep that clean till it closes up, okay? And the naming contest, this is this is the, the end of the road for today, okay? So we had a lot of names, <coughs> excuse me, all right? So let's do this, okay? And thanks everybody for participating. Oh, look at these babies. Right, on the brain. There's a lot of guys, right? This is charcoal, right? Because he's the darkest one, right? Growing huge, so fast. Five weeks, everybody. Okay, gonna they're gonna they're gonna beat Sheldon in about two months. How about that, right? Okay, so what is the best name for this guy? And who is the winner? What do they win? All right, see this, Ed? see this, gear. Lauren. Fresh gear. This is the very last of our skull caps till we order more. Okay, so the winner gets this skull cap, and let me read up. We have. TikTok and uh, and and YouTube and Instagram, so people participated on those, right? So I'm going to read the names that that came in. Okay, remember it was hatched out uh, on Valentine's weekend last weekend. Okay, and tiny, the size of a quarter, right? And uh, just a little trooper. So people came up with a bunch of names. Ready? Okay. Here, here were the names to choose from. Yolk. Pretty cool, right? Because they're huge jokes. Um, belly. Cute, right? cute. Because of the belly, right? Cute. And Titch, okay? Titch Galileo, right? Okay. Then Lucky. Lucky 13, right? Okay. And Einstein. I like that one. Okay. Belladonna. All right. 
and Belladonna. Valentino, right? Valentino, uh, Romeo, okay, Ben Holly, which the person said it means Beatrice in Africa. Okay, oh. how about that? And then we have another Galileo, so popular name, right? That's okay, funny. so guess what? We have a board of directors, everybody, okay? So it's not just me choosing, it's me and Gina and Julie, board of directors for our nonprofit. Oh, it would be great if we got him to eat, all right? And so the winner is, ready? The name is Valentino. Wow. Or Valentina, if it's a girl, Valentina. Right? It's great because, I, you know, love it. we loved it because it's, you know, Valentine's weekend, right? So. Yeah. Valid. We appreciate the love. We appreciate right. it for love, guys. Right. Yeah. So, great name. And that was by Southeast Georgia Peach. Okay? So, we'll be sending you a comment saying send your, to email me, hit the tortoise guy Kevin at gmail.com. Okay? And we will send you. Amazing stuff. news, Marie says. Great name, Marie says. Isn't it great? It is, yeah. I love it. Yeah, Valentino. Valentine's Day. Valentino. Right? So, there you go, everybody. So, we tried to take the choices to the park, right, Manny? Yeah, we did. That we had the extra help today to do it. Uh, so, if it warms up next time, we're going to the park. Next Sunday, for sure. Right? Okay. So, hey, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming, Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Bye, for guys. watching, everybody. Check out the new video uh, about Maui. Sea, sea turtles, swimming with sea turtles in Maui. Okay? That's part one. Pretty cool. And you're going to learn a lot. All right, so let's, uh, lots of love energy for number 13 here, okay? Valentino. Right, Valentina, Valentino. Look at the size difference, right? So this makes this guy or girl that much more precious. And the eyes are open, how about that? She's okay. so tiny. Right, I know, she's precious. Yeah, but in, in uh, four years, probably about 50, 60 pounds, okay? Yeah. Not possible. So, yeah, fun, right? <laughs> Crazy. So, okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. We'll see you next Sunday. Uh, and Valentino says, hey, Valentino, we, we won't know for about three years. All right? So, ciao, everybody.